yeah, I was tasty. I know. <laughs> so all of you are so <laughs> what? So big. Ah, I feel like you guys always say that Ugandans are always thick, like we are thick. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's because of the feeding. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, we have varieties at like back home. Mm -hmm. you see yeah. the next country after 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 here? Would you like? Would you... Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is Ronnie. Uh, welcome back to the uh, second part of the video, and uh, I'm happy to host someone else from Uganda. <laughs> there, Uganda. Hello, Harriet. Hi, guys. Uh -huh. uh, my name is Harriet Anabo, mm -hmm. a content creator from Uganda. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Ronnie, for having me on your channel. I'm so humbled. Welcome. I really appreciate. Mm -hmm. I've been looking for. I've been looking towards this, and okay. finally, the day has come. Okay. I'm here, and I'm so happy to be on your channel. Okay. Yes. Welcome. Uh, Thank you. How do you feel to be in the village right now? What's your experience about the village so far? My experience so far is good. I'm really having an amazing time because when you check out us on my channel, most of the time, sometimes I tend to go back home because our village is just like this. Mm -hmm. Just as the construction of the houses are different, because for us we construct huts like grass thatched houses. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. That is how our houses look like. But I love the village life. I always tell my subscribers the countryside is the best life to live because mm -hmm. everything is organic. Okay. Yes. So I'm in, I'm enjoying the environment mm -hmm. and the fact that I'm meeting incredible people like Ronnie. Mm -hmm. Uh, the nomad mm. it's really interesting my channel is still and Mara. Small. yeah though the channel is still small but i've met a lot of different youtubers mm -hmm. and people are so nice kenyans are really so nice that's all i can say mm -hmm. kenyans are really welcoming okay yes you talked about uh, grass touched houses eh? yes in kenya there are now very very few yeah but i haven't even seen any grass touched house from the time so i there came used here. to be really actually the other parts of kenya like bomet those other counties bomet narok mm. Kericho, mm. but nowadays people are now going to the iron sheet but which is yeah very yeah boring. yeah very i feel boring. like they should also have that because it feels good actually to be in that hut mm -hmm. daytime it is cool but at night it is cold mm -hmm. very very cold at night yeah. the attached ones are warm every day yeah they are warm at night at night no 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 they are cold mm -hmm. at night they are so cold <laughs> yeah but daytime it uh -huh. feels good mm -hmm. but i just love it whenever i go back home i just love the environment even here i'm enjoying the environment and the fact that i'm with mara in his compound it's just amazing he's a big inspiration i've been looking towards to meeting him and i'm so glad i met him and he's really an amazing soul okay yeah i know your visit here is not going to be at a loss at a loss that's mm -hmm. the thing you've met with so many friends i know you have friends now in kenya yeah i've made friends in kenya yeah. really really nice people mm -hmm. that i hope to again meet either in, in uganda or some other country you know we are travelers mm -hmm. you have to hit the road again mm -hmm. you're not going to stay in one place forever mm -hmm. so i hope to extend that friendship with them we're still building up with a friendship and i'm also going to build a friendship with you as well mm -hmm. yeah because you're really genuine i can tell genuine people in my life okay yeah so i hope to meet you again after kenya maybe yeah. some other place when you come to uganda i'm available my friends from uganda are also available to host you and have you and take you around uganda i'll travel to uganda yes okay let's let's talk about uh, food because i know now that's where the problem is <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you said uh, ugali, our ugali is so hard. Yes, yes. Hey, 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 hey. Kenyan ugali. Kenyan. <laughs> Kenyan ugali is so hard compared yeah. to our ugali in Uganda. Uh -huh. Yes, ours is soft. But they mm -hmm. told me mm -hmm. it's like that because you guys don't remove the cover of the cassava. Is we it don't. True? Not and even for cassava. Us, we remove it. Corn. Of the corn. corn. Yeah, mm -hmm. because you guys. Uh, okay, you get your ugali from the corn. From the corn. Maybe that's when you'll understand. Oh. Oh, now I can get. We get from the corn. I can now understand. I was wondering how comes it's so hard like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, because someone was telling me even when it comes to cassava, mm -hmm. you guys don't remove off the top layers. Mm -hmm. You you just well, get it from the garden, take it and then um, preserve it, take it outside and then you take you it to the machine. Can't find that time to remove those. I, I guess that's all you. For us, we do. We first take it for fermentation mm -hmm. and then remove off that part, mm -hmm. take it to the sunshine, then take it to the machine. We consider soft to garlic as uncooked. Are you serious? Mm, <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah. What? Uh -huh. I feel like yours is. But anyways, I'm, I think I'm, I'm getting used to it because I've. I feel like um, I can spend like two days minus eating it and then that I can eat it. Because but it's really uh, nice. as old as I am, mm. I'm now at thirty third floor, but I've never eaten ugali from cassava. Really? I've never done so. You always eat from the corn. From the corn. Oh, that is why you guys have a lot of, uh, you plant maize. a lot of maize. Mm -hmm. I was asking myself, like, everywhere you go, people are planting maize, maize, sukuma wiki. Mm -hmm. Wow. Not sukuma wiki only. <laughs> we have gab gab uh, cabbage, cabbages. Cabbages, yes. I saw cabbages uh, as well. And uh, the, the other locals, what do you call them? 
this what uh, I don't know, I forgot. But mm. we have a lot of vegetables, but not as Uganda. Okay. I came to Uganda and I realized we have, we have variety, a lot of food. variety of foods in Uganda. Mm. A variety of foods. So you you now bored? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not bored. I'm not bored because okay. first of all, people love matoke, especially the Kenyans. You guys, yeah, whenever matoke, you come yes. to Uganda, you want matoke. Mm -hmm. But as for me, I don't eat even matoke. Well, I ate it like so much. Maybe plantain, mm -hmm. but this one that they cook and smash, mm -hmm. no, I don't take it. I overtook it when I was still young and I'm, I got tired. So that's the first challenge. Of, <laughs> any other challenge you really had here? Uh, any other challenge I've had here? I don't think I've had a lot of challenges. Maybe about the restrictions of around the area, around Mara's place. Yeah, or even, not even Mara. Uh, there's no more. Outside, have you ever encountered any, 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 anybody telling you, okay, do you have any fear of walking around the village? No, I don't have any Basically, fear. Yeah. I don't have any fear because wherever I go, like someone just says Mambo mm. or Shikamo, like mm. they are really friendly okay, even me, being in Shikamo? camera. Maraba. Uh -huh. Like it's really like guys are really friendly on the road. Okay. But when you come to Uganda, uh -huh. hey, just putting someone is first like this on you. Where are you taking me? You want to take me to the whites and sell no, me? Even, even hey, here. Even it's here. there? The pro uh, the good thing is it because we're in the village? Yeah, the good thing about this village, mm -hmm. they know we are YouTubers. Mm -hmm. yeah, come yeah. to my village, hold the camera like this. They'll tell you you want to take us to, to a cult, and to a cult yeah. or to you, you are you, you are uh, Illuminati person. You want what? to sell us somewhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like they, we should change. Mm -hmm. I feel like now the world should just understand that they have also gotten content creators now because that's the same thing that i always uh, tell my subscribers whenever i'm shooting in kampala i always tell them guys ugandans please we need to change let's change we are just promoting our country for the good we want other people to know about uganda that's why we are promoting uganda we want people to come back to africa because me i always want people to come back to africa africa has got everything yeah everything but yeah. The, uh, the problem with africa is traveling around africa is very expensive very expensive maybe that one imagine yes. a flight from, uh, from uganda to kenya is equivalent <laughs> to a flight from uganda, uh, kenya to that's to true. india that's true that's yeah. true i don't know i don't know why yeah. but i feel like they should also try to work on that because mm -hmm. you cannot tell me we're all in africa mm -hmm. and then you make flights very expensive mm -hmm. no 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 and then someone is going to either Asia and the price is still the, it's the same. same. That's a problem. No. It's even better when you travel with a, with a vehicle, with a bus. Yeah, yeah, by road. By, by road. road. Even as we came by road. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, I was, I was to ask you about... Uh, tell them about the challenge of YouTube. Is it easy? YouTube. Yeah, is it easy? Hey. <laughs> oh, my dear. First of all, I'll start with my... <laughs> <laughs> Tell them. First of all, I'm going to start with my body. I wasn't like this. Mm -hmm. But YouTube made me look like this. I was fatter than this. I was chubby. Mm -hmm. But I thank God um, I joined YouTube because I've gained like a lot from YouTube. And But YouTube is really hectic. I was to the point where you almost got mad. Like me. Like at the time I was filming in the streets of Kampala and then mm -hmm. someone came and tried to uh, slap, slap the camera. That, yeah, mm -hmm. that really. It is so simple. Just tap on the person and be like, please don't film me. I'll just turn and be like, guys, let me get back to you. And then I turn to you and be like, I'm sorry. But instead of just, guys can really disrespect you and you feel like, what? That's a challenge in Africa, one other challenge. Oh my God. Uh -huh. I felt like that was really bad. Like, okay, find someone can, actually right now I feel like even I'm, I've overgrown that mm -hmm. because someone can come now and be like, ah, don't film me. What, what, it's such abusing me. What? Mm -hmm. I just be like, I just turn and be like, I'm sorry. Because when you're doing content, mm -hmm. you have to be very, very focused. Uh -huh. So focused. Mm -hmm. Once someone distracts you like this, you lose the mood. Remember, you have to be in a vibe when you're shooting content. Yes. You're not supposed to show people that you're, you're not you're feeling right. okay. You have to show them you have the vibe. You're, you eh, have you to, know? to see you shouting around. Exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> like my Ugno. <laughs> like my Ugno redeemer for Sehem. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Eh? Yeah, so when someone comes and tries to do that, mm. they really kill your mood. Did yeah, that may almost make you give up? Yeah, I was like, now why should I go and shoot? Mm. What if the next time they just get maybe something and throw at me? Mm. Let's say like an egg and throw it. Do you know how it feels? Because I was so, in Kakamega in Kenya, yeah. and uh, I took a video of someone. I yeah. didn't know someone was working with someone else's wife. So the guy was so aggressive. Why are you filming everyone? Hey, hey, delete. See? And you have short up. content, someone is saying to delete your content. Okay, you was with someone's wife. Oh, make... these are people that cheat, cheat around. Mm. Oh, mm -hmm. I understand. Mm -hmm. Even that's why, by the way, some places they restrict cameras mm -hmm. because, like, hotels, those big eh? uh, hotel apartments, those places that you go to hang out from, they, 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 they tell you no cameras allowed, no filming. Mm -hmm. 
because of privacy, people's privacy. And I respect that. I can't shoot someone because let's say, uh, let's say now you're in Nairobi, you're in Gikomba. Aren't you going to shoot someone? You're free to shoot because that's a public area. Mm -hmm. But if I go to a place and there are restrictions, of course I cannot shoot from there because I know now this one, maybe some people come here to have their private time, maybe with some other, eh? those people who try to be with yeah, other partners yeah, yeah. like side chicks and all that so yes, yes. i can really understand but it, once it's a public place i have the freedom to film okay. that's why in uganda we started up the uganda the ugandan youtubers association because we want to have the cards that wherever i go mm -hmm. when someone asks me what are you doing you're under which company I, at least i can talk for myself because i'm under the association okay yes so that's an idea so do, we, do you think we should also form an association in kenya like that? yeah I was actually talking to some of the Kenyans and I was like, you guys have an association? Mm -hmm. And then they're like, no, we just have a WhatsApp group. Like mm -hmm. some, some of them said they don't have, they have the Instagram. So I was like, you guys have to organize, mm -hmm. go under the law, register an association so that you guys can film freely. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, because because once a, the police mm -hmm. grabs you like this, uh -huh. my dear. I've been grabbed twice. Eh? In, Me too, I've been grabbed once. Or sold, what, what are you doing here? Yeah. You're filming people here. Yeah. And I have to tell them no. I just had to be hard. They released me. Mm. But in Nairobi now, you know, mm. Nairobi city mm. is free to film everywhere. Really? Yeah, everywhere except maybe close to parliament buildings. Or... Yeah, yeah, the governmental buildings. But right now you can yeah. film everywhere. But previously last year you couldn't film. They would really? arrest you without the license. You need to have a, a license. Yeah, something that talks something. But now about you can just it. go and hold your camera. <laughs> but now you need to. Nairobi is not as safe as you think. Okay. You need to hold your camera like this. Oh yeah, they told me Nairobi. Hey, you have to be very very careful with your gadgets because thieves like. Someone can just come and snatch your gadgets. Okay. Yeah. So, any expectation that was not up to your uh, expect, uh, anything that was not up to your <laughs> expectation? <laughs> like no, what? Don't talk about the company now. <laughs> like what? Yeah. The, what? The like, party? Like the food. The first one was food. The first one was food. Because you expected to find uh, nice food. But you guys have nice food. It's just that the Ugal is a thing that I'm going to try to get used to. Because actually, your foods are not so far from our foods. Mm -hmm. But you and actually, I, you move to next country, or you going back to Uganda to? No, after here, mm -hmm. after Mara's place, I'm mm -hmm. hoping to go back to home mm -hmm. because remember it's a festival season. Mm -hmm. I have to go meet my family, mm -hmm. and then I because next year starting from January, I'm going to start serious travels. Mm -hmm. So I'll start with Nairobi, mm -hmm. then Mombasa, and then think of some maybe Rwanda's first visit all the East African countries, and then go to other African countries. Yeah, why don't you show us the uh, uh, Nairobi right now? Yeah. yeah no, in Uganda, there's yeah. a lot of uh, Christmas. So Ceremonies. Yes, that's why I want yeah, to go show, back. Show us I will show it to you when I'm going back because I'm. I think I'm leaving at the end of the month, this mm -hmm. month. Then I go back to Uganda because it's a festival season. You need to bring your family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'll also shoot the Christmas stuff and all that okay. in Uganda. Yes. Okay. Do you think your stay has been fruitful? My stay has really been fruitful. Mm -hmm. I reached an extent of even extending days. I was supposed to spend two weeks mm -hmm. in Yabuhansi, but now I'm going to spend like over a month or like three weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How many subscribers have you earned so far? I've gained over, I come with a 3.2, right now I'm at 3.8, heading to 4. So, so I've gained 600, 600 subs, yes. Ah, that's a, that has worked. <laughs> yeah, and in just one week and some days, so imagine. Okay, I've found around uh, uh, 1,200. Yeah. Which is really good. That's really incredible. Mm -hmm. That's really good. So in case I for, forgot any other question, I remember that I, <laughs> I look for you. <laughs> oh, no, man. Oh, but I'm so uh, happy to uh, have me on your channel. You're so nice. I feel like I can relate. Uh, I can relate between me and you. If I feel like you have a lot to talk about, and I can really understand. And I'm a person that. I always love listening to people. Like when someone is trying to talk to me, I even leave what I'm doing and I try to focus on you and listen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I know how it goes. Because I, have a, I really have a, a lot of stories to share, but it's not one day. <laughs> yeah, off camera, behind the scenes, guys. Uh -huh. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for coming to my channel. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. We hope that this video one day it will burst. It is going to blow. You guys should just watch. Mm -hmm. Watch, please. And please push him to 10K subscribers as well. Please, guys. Maybe. Let's talk about 5,000. No, no, 10, 10, 10K. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. And let's give us ourselves a target. By next year, this time, everyone would have passed 30, 40, 50,000. Exactly. We need to work hard. Yeah. Yes. Because you see now people are working hard. People are really working people hard. People have subscribers here. <laughs> you guys. Have people you ever, are really working have hard. Have you ever posted here. a video and thought it would uh, go viral? Blow. Only, only to get 10 views. 
Actually, there is a time. Was it when last week on Friday? I was told. I was telling my friends, you guys, are you seeing your views trying to? Because me, mine come and then they try to drop. But then I was like, maybe it's because I've changed environment. Mm -hmm. I'm not in that city because my uh, subscribers are used to me shooting city videos. City videos always blow. My videos always blow in the city. So when I come to Mara's place, they try to lag somehow down. They feel like Mara's people now who are watching me more. So I don't know how it's gonna be, but I'm hoping for the best. And I know this is how even Mara started, but I have to keep on pushing. With you YouTube, have you have to keep on pushing. You have to post every day. Yes. But now you have to know that eh? uh, the people who are watching you and watching Marwa, they now have to watch Marwa for now. Exactly. Until the end of the month. Exactly. And that's then when, they come back. That's when you now start watching your videos. My dear. So you need to be unique. We need to be somehow unique. Because you found around 100 YouTubers here. And, yours, yours. and all of you are filming the same stuff. Mm -hmm. That's true. Anyway, wish and, all, and, and I feel like most of uh, the YouTubers here will share same subscribers, subscribers. Mm. so it's really hectic mm. but I'm hoping for the best and I thank God that at least my channel has grown I'm not going to leave Kenya the same person that I the same way I came from Uganda and I really appreciate the chance that everyone gave me uh, even Mara putting me on uh, his mm. live streams I really appreciate people have really come from Mara's side and I feel like those are the people that are really genuine, mm -hmm. genuine, genuine people. And those are the subscribers that we all need, genuine subscribers, people that are there for us, support us, and push us, give us words of encouragement, mm -hmm. words of wisdom. Okay. Yes. Anything that you don't like about Kenya, be sincere. Mm. Not, not the village. <laughs> Because I feel like I've just traveled to Nyabuhan, so I haven't gone extra miles like Nya, Nairobi, but, so I can't course. say something big about which border, it. Or you came through this border? I came through the Maraba border, not the Busia. Uh, so which means you've seen something along the way. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe mm. what I would say, mm. should I talk about the transport side of it? Yeah, you can talk Yeah, they transport. overcharged us when it comes to transport. I think they realized that we are foreigners, but I feel like that is normal to every country. I you can tell to. you, I also came to Uganda. You know mm. the taxi from the, is it Memorial Center or what we call, uh, where you, mm. uh, the, where the, you, auditory, where audi, they do auditions or oh, what, at the center. Okay, okay yes, know. yes. Uh, the parliamentary place mm -hmm. around there. I picked a taxi from there mm. to a hotel just next to, not far, about uh, 700 meters from the city. Okay. And uh, the, the taxi man charged me 90,000. Uh, 90,000? Yes, 90,000. Because we came to the city, uh, the hotel, mm -hmm. dropped the bag, and yeah. then he took me to our next hotel for me to eat. Only just about 90,000 Ugandan shillings. That's a lot of money. Around 4,000 Kenyan shillings. That's a, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. That was extra. Yeah. At least for us, something <laughs> like maybe 200 shillings, they would just add maybe 200, something like that. So was, was that was really, ex you are really overcharged mm -hmm. for sure. But I feel like every foreigner that goes to a different country always face those challenges. Right? I still know his face up to date. I haven't forgotten his face. Hey. Even his car. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Ugandans. That's please. why I, I was to stay for one week, uh, mm -hmm. for two weeks. I mm -hmm. stayed on for two days. Because of that, that. Day I was out. because of that. At the border, I don't want to speak about the border. How it's was normal. it? Was it hectic at the border? Uh, yeah, slightly, not that bad, but I paid something. <laughs> <laughs> I actually didn't pay anything when I didn't pay anything when I was entering mm -hmm. the border, mm -hmm. Kenya to Marawa border. They, they checked me because I didn't, uh, my COVID certificate was not, oh. uh, was not, uh, I traveled before that the certificate was valid. Okay. You know, you are vaccinated, you yeah. have to stay for around 14 days yes. before you start home. Yes, yes. Uh, oh, maybe that was the reason why they, they charged, charged me around that. a thousand Kenyan shillings. Mm. That is around 24,000 Ugandan shillings. Mm. Just Africa. Hey, Africans. Hey. May God help us. We May God abroad. help us for sure. <laughs> May God help us. Anyway. But, but it's always good to travel with your documents. Mm -hmm. It's always good to travel with a yellow fever, passport, COVID. I know now nowadays they maybe they might relax about the COVID because first we came with them, but at the border they didn't even ask us about the COVID certificates. Mm -hmm. But of course we had them just in case we came prepared. Okay. Yeah, so once you're a traveler, you have to move with all your judgments so that you avoid all those things. Okay. Yeah. Now let me tell you what I expected uh, of Ugandans. And it, it came out to be true. Uh -huh. I expected that you speak English more fluently than most of us. Okay, yeah, that's and true. It's true. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. true. Yeah. You're more fluent. You don't uh, mis <laughs> mention some words. 
<laughs> in Kenya it depends on the tribe. <laughs> I feel like in Kenya it depends, mm, yeah. On the tribe. Yeah. And where you grew up. But even though you, you're fluent in no, English. That's great. No, 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 no. I'm really? a teacher by profession, by the way. Oh. I'm, teaching, okay. I, I'm a high school teacher. Okay. But I don't want to teach now. You're done with that? No. Okay. I'm trying out teaching first. Okay. The options that are available. Okay, yeah, mm. you're right, you're right. What did you do in Uganda? Mm? Where did you study in Uganda? Uh, university what? Uh, the, what? What's your profession? What do I do in Uganda? Mm. Uh, apparently, I used to work at some office after school because I graduated in 2021. That's when I finished I, uh, campus. That's when I graduated. So I've spent like two years year. from school. This is my second year. Mm. But I first went and applied for a job. They gave me the job, but because the company was still new, the payments weren't so good. Mm -hmm. So I was like, no, Harriet, you love bags mm -hmm. and shoes so much. Mm -hmm. And I had this idea in my head of, okay, I have some small money. Mm -hmm. Why can't I start up my online bag and toe collection? So I have my online bag and toe collection, apparently. And I'm also focusing on YouTube. So you're a business yes. woman? Yeah, my business lady. Okay. Yeah, and I'm hoping to work hard and hard because I'm, I also love real estate. Mm -hmm. If you watch some of my videos, I always go and promote, promote people's properties because mm -hmm. I love real estate. And you know, women do so well on real estate. I don't know why nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Yeah. <laughs> I just okay. love real estate, guys. Yeah. It's, it's just fun. Like, yeah. you learn new stuff in real estate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And mm -hmm. me, I'm, I love being my own boss. Okay. I don't know, but I love being my own boss. Everyone loves being their own boss because right now, I don't, I don't like... <laughs> I don't know if I, if I get employed. Like getting an 8 to 5 p.m. job, I can't it, get it right now because I feel like I can even just move around and I get money. You know what discourages us from being a 9 to 5 job? Taxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get some money and they are taxed half by half. Yeah. yeah you, have made, you have kids and everything. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway, okay. uh, we know how to speak so <laughs> We have people. a lot to talk about, yeah. guys. Yeah. Uh, it's been a good time. Yeah. I really like the time we spent together here yes and uh we hope for the best yeah thank you for being in my channel thank you so much for having me uh, success really in your it. road to 10,000 yes we are heading there together we are now heading we have to there together <laughs> to see who get there first yes yes, yes. that is the thing please yeah. guys subscribe no man's team mm. no man's team kindly subscribe to my channel harriet mm. anabo no man kindly I'll tag, tag me. you yeah i'll tag you so if you okay. get some 10 of my subscribers <laughs> 20 it's even better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you, guys. I okay. really appreciate. Okay. Thank you. Welcome.